Hello everyone, today I will bring you a super sweet Thai BL drama together with me. A drunken accident started, and two very good friends went to the paradise of love. Ben and Caleb have been very good friends since childhood. Later, Caleb moved to Bangkok with his family, and they have been separated for nine years since then. Until recently, the two who had just entered college were assigned to the same class. <laughs> <laughs> the long-lost reunion made the two very excited. At the same time, they were punished to run on the playground because of their gaffe in class, and the person sitting with Ben and the others is John, who has a milder temper and makes people feel protective. The girl who appeared next was Fei Fei, with a rough personality, just as the four of them were chatting happily, and walked towards Ben. She is Ben's good friend and she was overwhelmed by Caleb's beauty as soon as she came, and she kept sneaking glances at Caleb. At this moment, Senior Oppo suddenly vomited in the corridor, not sure if he was drunk or because of too much academic pressure. After several people got together, there was a non-drunk carnival. Early in the morning, Ben was woken up by his mother's phone call. Nan's mother told Ben to go home quickly because she was in a hurry to attend the funeral. Ben couldn't come back. She had to lock the door and go first. After hanging up the phone, Ben hurried home with Caleb. In the end, she still didn't catch up. Nan's mother had already left the house, and the house was locked. Live outside today. Ben took Caleb to a nearby restaurant for dinner. At this moment, two beauties came over to strike up a conversation, and soon they became acquainted with each other, and drank a lot of wine, didn't leave until the restaurant was closed. In desperation, the boss had no choice but to drive people away. The four people who were driven out found a hotel, continued to drink, and played a kissing game. When Ben kissed Caleb affectionately, Caleb actually looked disgusted. <laughs> but this is the rule of the game, and he didn't think too much about it. Ben and Caleb were obviously heavy drinkers, and they passed out quickly. Afterwards, the two beauties searched their wallets and ran away. People who were drunk were a little out of control, and Ben himself was gay. And because of being drunk, they did some outrageous things, driven by the instinct of the body. Ben has sex with Caleb. God, this is his best friend. I wonder how Caleb will react when he wakes up. After waking up, Caleb was very angry when he found himself lying with Ben. The next day, Caleb scolded Ben loudly then left the room, and the two parted ways. When he got home, Ben still blamed himself. He didn't believe he could do such a thing, but he was his best friend. While Ben was constantly regretting, Nan's mother asked Ben to invite Caleb to have dinner at home, and ordered lunch by the way. Caleb now lives alone in his original hometown. Nan's mother needs to take care of him more. Ben delivered the meal as ordered but the angry Caleb didn't want to see him at all. Ben had no choice but to put the food box outside, and then left after conveying Nan's mother's words. But in the end Caleb went to Ben's for dinner, but the atmosphere in the restaurant was a bit awkward, depressed. Ben had to ask him for help, and is not very good at this kind of thing. She just told Ben that if the other party doesn't forgive, just apologize from the heart. The next morning, Ben sat on the other side of the lake and threw a paper airplane at Caleb to apologize, because it was his tried and true way of apologizing as a child. But this time Caleb ignored it and left angrily. Caleb met his girlfriend Ruby as soon as he walked on the small bridge. Ruby found out that Caleb lived here from Kuma, so she found it here. Meanwhile, Ben is sitting in the restaurant grieving alone, at this time and came to him, because of the phone call last night. She was not worried. This scene was actually seen by Caleb who was wearing a couple outfit. Ben and Caleb immediately hid, and the two happened to hide in the same place. Both of them were embarrassed and didn't know what to say. On the other hand, John took his girlfriend Mary to school together. As soon as she arrived at school, Mary was bumped by the handsome guy James in front of her. The two chatted in a friendly manner, but with John's arrival, the intersection of the two ended, but at the restaurant at this time, Ben and the four of them could only get together awkwardly, and against Ruby's reluctance, an awkward foursome ensues. 
During the game, Caleb accidentally took Ben's hand. This scene surprised the two girls, and Caleb and Ben loosened each other in a little panic. After that, the four of them went to the boat together, and is a little jealous when she sees Caleb's intimate behavior with Ruby. So, she also acted like a baby to Ben. Fortunately, there was no accident this time. In the evening, Ruby was finally alone with Caleb, and the two went for a walk outside. Ruby accidentally knocked the food box sent by Ben into the water. Although Caleb calmly reassured Ruby not to care, but his heart was very anxious. After the two chatted for a while, Caleb told Ruby to go back to rest first, while he stayed outside. After a while, Caleb appeared in front of Ben's house. <laughs> All wet, it turned out that he jumped into the water to pick up the food box, and then brought it back to Ben. At this time, the two who were still in the embarrassing situation that day finally reconciled. However, Caleb specifically warned Ben this time that he must not tell the story of that day. Otherwise, he would never reconcile with Ben again. Alas, these two children are really worrying. Scene of the two reconciling happened to be seen by and who lives in Ben's house. After Caleb left and began to question Ben if the two of them had any secrets, Ben promised Caleb that he would not tell others. So naturally he must keep his promise, so he just made up an excuse and dealt with Anne. Early the next morning, John and Feifei arrived at school, followed by Ben and Anne. It seemed that the relationship between the two was very harmonious. Soon, Senior Apo also came over, he exchanged a look with Anne, because and solved a big problem for him. This trouble is his girlfriend Saren. Apo doesn't like Saren anymore, and and used her wisdom to make Saren angry enough which made Oppo feel good. In the evening, Ruby sent Caleb home, and after Caleb got out of the car, he turned on his phone and found a lot of messages that he hadn't read. These are notifications from the team. The team is going to participate in the game. Let him and Ben return to the team for practice tomorrow. On this day, Ruby knew what happened the day the two were drunk. She was very angry. And Caleb was also very disappointed in Ben. <laughs> No. Just when Ben was at a loss, he suddenly woke up from his dream. It turned out to be a nightmare. In school, Oppo stared at the female teacher with a dazed expression. He didn't know what he was drawing in the book. This scene caught Anne's attention. She insisted on grabbing Oppo's painting, but was discovered by the teacher. Both were severely criticized by the teacher. At this time, on the football field. Caleb was asked about Ben's situation by his teammates just after he came to practice. It turned out that Ben hadn't shown up for several days, nor had he come to the team to practice. Mary was leading the cheerleading dance practice. John came over and happened to bump into James. The two looked at each other. Could it be that James and John also had a relationship? In the office, when the teacher was approving homework, Oppo came in with his design drawings. The teacher looked at the design drawing while criticizing. At this moment, Oppo's cell phone kept ringing, and the teacher motioned him to take it out. But when Oppo saw the photo of the teacher secretly taken, he tried his best to hide his mobile phone. In the end, the teacher found out, and Oppo secretly took her photo, which made the teacher even more angry. It seems that the reason why Oppo doesn't like Saren is that he already likes his teacher. And on the other hand, Caleb runs into Ben on the street. However, when Ben sees Caleb, he runs away. Caleb followed closely behind Ben. He didn't understand. He just wanted Ben to return to the team to practice. Why did Ben run? In the end, Caleb really couldn't catch up with Ben, so he sent a message to tell Ben's team about the game. Oppo, who just came out of the teaching building in the school, received a call from the bar and they invited him back to serve as a resident singer. Oppo agreed. Underscore. At this moment, Saren suddenly appeared, and she asked Oppo why he was avoiding him. The two quarreled, and finally, Saren broke up in a huff, and all this was heard by Jane on the side. She is very glad that the two broke up, because she noticed Oppo from the beginning and has always been secretly in love with Oppo. 
The next day, Caleb stared at his phone on a date with Ruby. He was waiting for a message from Ben, but the phone never received the message. On the court, the coach was very angry that Ben hadn't come to practice. He decided to expel Ben from the team, and Feifei took the vacant position. Caleb kept saying good things about Ben, but he still couldn't get the coach to change his mind. He decided to leave the team in a fit of anger. Just as Caleb was walking to the door, Ben suddenly appeared and pulled Caleb back. In the evening, several people came to Oppo's resident bar to drink. Caleb looks a bit complicated, like he's the victim, while Ben looks like he has nothing to do with it. Caleb couldn't help feeling a little annoyed. The atmosphere at this time made Ben a little restless. He decided to go out for a walk. Unexpectedly met his ex-boyfriend Patton. Just as Patton was staring at Ben affectionately, Caleb suddenly appeared. Ben introduced the two with some embarrassment, but as soon as the two met, they both disliked each other, and the scene was once very embarrassing. <coughs> Caleb was very depressed by Ben's old love, and it happened that Ruby called and called him away at this time, so he was able to get away. Caleb left. Oppo ran over suddenly. It turned out that he was hiding from Saren. Meanwhile, John meets Saren at the bathroom door who just came out. Apparently, Saren didn't find Oppo. While John was washing his hands in the bathroom, suddenly two men walked in, and the one behind him was James. James and the man in front walked in. They kissed passionately. John was very surprised when he saw the scene. The next day, when Ben was chatting with everyone at school, Feifei called Caleb who was far away from them. When Caleb came to Ben's side, both of them felt a little uncomfortable. Fortunately, their abnormality was not discovered by others. Finally came the day of the game. Ruby accompanied Caleb to the stadium and cheered for Caleb enthusiastically. The intimate interaction between the two stimulated and and Feifei on the side. Finally, the game was about to start, and the coach asked Ben to relax and concentrate on attacking. But for some reason, when Ben and Caleb heard the sentence, they both felt very embarrassed. The game finally started. When the red team entered the field, Bennett of the red team recognized the two of them as soon as they entered the field and greeted them cordially. Who was this Bennett? Could it be one of Ben's ex-boyfriends again? On the other hand, Oppo came to the teacher with the revised homework, but the teacher still remembered that Oppo secretly photographed her yesterday. Oppo is also not brave enough. He obviously likes it. Why can't he take the initiative to confess his love to the teacher? In which direction will the story develop? Can the two people who had in-death communication at the beginning get together? Follow me. We will continue to share in the next issue.